on April 8, 2024. Here in the United States, we are going to experience a total solar eclipse. This is something that many people have been waiting years for. Some people are saying this right now is their vacation. They're going to take time away from work, away from school. They're going to travel to certain places here in the United States. According to reports, we're going to experience a total solar eclipse in 15 states. 15 states will be able to see complete darkness for about four minutes. However, we're also getting reports that we should be concerned. They are now issuing warnings. Mayors and governors have both stated that they are warning their residents to be prepared. We're going to see no food, no fuel, possibly no water, and in all this, we'll experience longer wait times in emergency rooms, and there will be increased traffic in some cities that really can't afford it. So I'm going to break down what's going on, explain why they're so concerned, and what you should do moving forward. So we'll get to that in just a moment. All I ask is one thing, it takes two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So the first thing I want to do is show you the path of this total solar eclipse. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole timeline here. I could, I'm not going to do that because I don't think this is going to be extremely accurate. I think it's going to be very close, but some people are going to jump on it or come and see, okay, is it going to happen at 1245 and they're going to miss it again. It's about four minutes long. That is it. Okay. And then the moon will pass over the sun and now it will be light again. So th these are the states. Okay. You can see the path right here. This is where it's going to go. All right. So if you live in this area, Okay, just understand you should be able to see it. If you do not live in that area, and this is a concern, many people are going to travel to those locations. Just look at this. Okay, I want to show you this really quick. These are the these are the locations. Okay, you got Dallas, Texas, Itabel, Oklahoma, Little Rock, Arkansas, Poplar Bluff, Missouri, pa Paducah, uh, Kentucky, Carbondale, Illinois. Evansville, Indiana, Cleveland, Ohio, Erie, Pennsylvania, Buffalo, New York, Burlington, Vermont, Lancaster, New Hampshire, Caribou, Maine. Those are just some of the locations, but again, popular locations. If you are from one of these smaller cities, just understand you may see hundreds of thousands of people come to your city to see this one phenomenon that's going to happen. And guess what? This will not happen here in the United States again until 2044. So we have another 20 years that we are going to have to wait. That's why people are so excited about this event, because for many, they've never seen this. But for most, this is their year. Now, here's the warning. OK, I want to read this to you. It says, why have there been so many warnings about the solar eclipse? says because of the excitement surrounding this total solar eclipse the next one visible in the united states will not be until 2044. many people are eager to experience totality data shows that hundreds of thousands of people will be traveling to areas in the path of totality many of these cities and towns are not used to this many people arriving all at once officials want to ensure everyone is prepared to experience the, the eclipse safely Here's the issue. And like I said, some of these smaller cities and towns, they, they can't afford to have, you know, 10,000 people show up in their town all at once. They don't have enough hotel rooms in case people want to stay. You look at grocery stores that are trying to sell water or food or whatever. The concern there is they may run out of food because most small town grocery stores are not going to decide to all of a sudden buy you know, all this food and water and stuff to potentially cater to 10,000 people when they don't know if 10,000 people are going to show up. And so instead, they're going to continue on with what they've been doing and in hopes they do not run out of food. They don't run out of water. Well, this same warning goes for gas stations. 
because here's the concern. Let's say you drive 200, 200 miles to a specific city and let's say 10,000 people decide to do the exact same thing because that's the greatest spot to see this solar eclipse. Well, the concern is what if the gas stations do not have enough fuel to get everybody out of that town? What if they run out of gas and so you see big signs on the gas station, out of fuel. So then people are gonna have to stay in that town another day until another gas truck shows up. Well, here's the concern there. What if you do not have enough hotel rooms? Now people are sleeping in their cars. Now it becomes a, a potentially an even bigger risk because now people are sleeping in their cars. They could be threatened by homeless or additional thefts. Well, brings you to the next thing. They are also concerned with the increased waiting times in the emergency room. What if people decide they're, they're gonna look directly at the sun? They're not gonna use the special glasses. Well, if you're not, or you wanna use the special glasses, the glasses, you should get some. Uh, here's some right here. I'll put a link to these down in the description box below. These are the best sellers as of right now on Amazon. Now, right now you get a two pack. It is $9.99, It's about $5 per sunglass. Now, again, they say don't miss out. This is not gonna happen until 2044 or August of 2024. All I can tell you is people are using this time as pretty much a vacation. They are taking time away from work and school to go and experience this event. Now, I'm not gonna do that. I live in Washington State. You know, uh, I don't really feel a need that I need to go do it, but if my kids really wanted to do it, I'd probably take them. I would probably take them so that they could experience this. But again, most people are not gonna do that. Now, one thing I just wanna end this with, I want you to be safe, okay? We are hearing from certain, um, certain mayors. They're actually calling in the National Guard and they are setting up places in their cities where you can go and watch this event. These are gonna be large parks. These are gonna be large parking lots, right? Uh, some malls, places like that, where you can actually go and you can watch this. Here's the concern though. If you go to some of these areas, people wanna experience complete darkness. Well, there are gonna be areas in certain cities where they are gonna shut off all the lights. They will shut off all the lights so it you will actually experience uh, not complete darkness, because there's still gonna be some light, but just to understand, that you go to, a, let's say, a shopping center, and all of a sudden, their lights just turn on. It might ruin your experience. And so there are mayors that are setting up certain areas that you can go to, and you can go experience this. But again, keep in mind, those are gonna be you know, probably advertised as the areas, so you gotta get there early. Chances are you can't show up five minutes before uh, you know, totality and, and get a great spot and see it. It's gonna take a little bit. So be prepared, plan ahead. Just understand many people are in this exact same situation that they've never seen it before. And so they really want to. So that's where we're at at this time. Again, I just wanted to give you that warning because the people that are warning you that, hey, we might run out of food, water, fuel, just understand those are the smaller towns. You go to a place like Dallas, Texas, which I can show you right here, Dallas, Texas, Okay, um, so right here, it says the partial begins at 1223 p.m. Totality is gonna be at 140, all right? So just keep that in mind, that's in Dallas, Texas. In Dallas, there's a lot of space. There's a lot of places you can see this. But in other towns, they might not have all the, the amenities, all the, the resources you need in the event you get stuck there, okay? So, just wanted to fill you in on why people are being warned at this time. If you have any questions whatsoever, please ask your questions down in the comment section below. But that is what we know as of today. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing. I'll see you guys on the next 